Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Indian Dev. My name is Ayush. And I am Nishan. So in today's video, we are going to cover the polyfill of Pori. Okay, so as we have uh, discussed the polyfill of uh, around 3 to 4 videos of polyfill, before getting into the video, I just wanted to make sure that if you guys are new to this channel, The Indian Dev, then please consider subscribing to The Indian Dev. Now we can simply move on to the polyfill of for each and uh, yeah if you don't know about that what is polyfill you can simply go back to our videos and that what is polyfill and we have already you know created a lot of uh, polyfills so that you can get the idea that how uh, we can create the polyfill so in the same pattern that we are following for all the polyfills firstly we will see that how for each working so that we are having the idea to you know write the code for the polyfill so i am writing the you know bullet points for for each method that how this for each method works and as the name suggests it is simply or we can say if you have used the for each method you know that for each is the method of array that is simply iterating over over the array it is not returning anything it is not returning any of the you know any of the new array like filter or map and if we can see on the bullet points it is a simple logic of for a for loop and the computation is performed for each iteration so now we can see that how uh, this for each is working so i've used this for each method and in that for each we will be receiving a callback method which is having value index and array as of now i just need the value so for this value uh, what i will be doing is i can do anything in this callback method and that has nothing to do with uh, what i need to return i can simply you know apply the console.log so yeah here you can see that uh, for each loop is iterating over every element and it is printing the you know the value of that particular index in the console so that's how the for each is working and i can say that apart from all the polyfills that we have implemented for each is simplest one because it has nothing to do with the logical part it is simply the iteration of a for array under the for loop so yeah, nishant uh, now we can simply go to the polyfill part and before that i just wanted to simulate uh, the for each method so that for our current browser the for each is not available now we can write the polyfill as i used to have mentioned the few points so this is the simplest of all we are creating our own method my for it and we are assigning it to the array class so it will be available to the all array so it will receive a callback okay and there is a logic of for loop so we have to simply implement a for loop and you are confusing how i am going to get the length so we are taking the help of this keyword for the length it will reference to this array then a simple iteration okay and in the for loop we have to you know just implement our callback so first is the value current value second is the index and third is the whole array which is this so this is the simple polyfill of a for each yeah let's see if that is working in the same way or not so what i am doing is i am again applying the for each and now here you can see that the for each is not a function as we have submitted that for each method as null for that what we can do is we can use the polyfill for this for each that is my for each and let's see if the result is same or not let me you know comment it out and let's see yeah so the result is same for uh, the polyfill code as well so as i was saying that this is the simplest polyfill code for you know any of the uh, method reviewers will not ask uh, this kind of polyfill but uh, yeah definitely you should know that how the for each is working under the hood yeah just to conclude uh, we can see that initially we have seen that how for each method is working so in the polyfill code what we have done is simply we have created a for loop and inside that for loop we have just executed the callback method and whatever the thing that is being done inside that callback method that will be done by this for loop and again the tricky thing that Nishant has mentioned that if I just wanted to get the length of the array then I will be receiving the length of the array in the this keyword and that is referencing to the current array on which this my for each function is being applied that is pretty much easy to understand I hope you all guys understood this concept of okay so that's it for this video in, in the next videos uh, I believe we will be starting with the promises okay so if you have uh, you know enjoyed the video and if you have learned any of the concepts from this video then please consider liking this video and till then if you guys haven't subscribed to the indian dev then please consider subscribing to the indian dev thank you for watching this video guys